Hi friends. For a couple of days last weekend, my wife Sharon and I were in Chicago visiting friends and celebrating belatedly our wedding anniversary. While we were there, the Chicago Jazz Fest was going on at Millennium Park, and we went and listened to music on the various stages. Some of it we really liked, and some of it we really didn't. One of the central features of Millennium Park is Cloudgate, also known as The Bean. It's one of the world's largest permanent outdoor art installations. The sculpture was unveiled in 2004 and it quickly became an iconic landmark and a popular photo op. Here's our selfie. The sculpture was designed by the Indian British artist Anish Kapoor. He was already well known for his large scale outdoor works, including several with highly reflective surfaces. But this is the first in the United States and widely considered to be his most famous. The exterior of the sculpture is made entirely of stainless steel. There are 168 massive steel plates that are welded together to create a seamless, highly reflective surface. The inside framework that holds it all together is a network of two large metal rings and trusses similar to those that you might find on a bridge. And this allows the weight, which is about 110 tons, to be directed to two base points, creating a concave surface beneath the structure. This curved underside, which serves as kind of an entrance to the park and the highly reflective surface, inspired the sculptor to name this piece Cloudgate. It got the nickname The Bean because, well, it looks like a bean. <laughs> a bean that's 33 feet high, 42 feet wide, and 66 feet long. Before we went to Millennium Park, we were talking with our friends about things to do in Chicago and the bean came up. One of our friends said, not impressed, it's just a bean. <laughs> so I did not have high expectations. When we arrived at the park and saw the bean, what struck me was not the structure itself, it is just a bean, <laughs> but the reflection. The reflection of the sky and the skyline and the green space and the people. It was beautiful. It struck me that our beauty as Christians comes not from ourselves, we're just people, but from the reflection of Jesus and his love. The reflection of the Spirit and his fruit. When we make sacrifices for the good of others or for the good of creation, and when we exhibit characteristics of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, and generosity, and self-control, we are reflecting the beauty of God and God's kingdom to the world. And that not only makes the world a more beautiful place, but also makes us more beautiful people. So the next time you see your reflection in the mirror, say to yourself, well, hello there, beautiful, and know that you are talking to the divine reflection in you. Thanks for listening. I'll see you again next week.